I feel that it's really important to have confidence in each stroke. I don't see anything as making a mistake, really. I guess it's in my personality to just create in this way, not feel too concerned about whether it's perfect or not. I feel that if you can see a brush stroke or if you can see a drip, I think that that's human. My name is Ramon Kim and Yang, aka Rose Star. Uh, I'm an artist from New York City, just here in Mexico City, DF, having my solo show, Turbo Arena. Ever since I was very young, I was always interested in drawing and making art. My brother and I used to draw a lot. We were really into comic books and animation and cartoons and stuff, and that was like when I was like three or four years old. As I got older, I really loved drawing a lot. I didn't really think about it as uh, becoming an artist or anything like that. I wanted to just, you know, have fun with things. Back in, I guess, in the 80s, I got into break dancing. Uh, I wasn't really a graffiti artist. I guess my brother was a graffiti artist. So I didn't feel like I wanted to do that kind of thing. Being expressive was very important for me. Oddly enough, break dancing was really my kind of entrance way into like being a creative being or a person, you know, or having some sort of a skill. Like I want to create a sense of fluidity and rhythm in uh, whatever I'm showing. And uh, I guess breakdancing really had something to do with that, I think, you know, it's really improvising to the music. I studied graphic design in college in New York in 89. I really fell in love with like the ways that you can create powerful imagery using color and I guess taking elements and either like changing them or recycling images like logo biting or taking things and changing them into your own. Graphics is uh, it's pretty much what I came up with as my style. The processes of graphic arts, of graphic uh, design, and physics, which is really more abstract in this way where it's about energy. I didn't really like doing graphic design for others, so I started really pursuing my own personal kind of work back in like 95. And I, I realized that just making art was the way for me and not doing commercial stuff at all. And I realized I needed to create something that was mine and that was me. I guess uh, with graphic design, it's like the computer, it's, you can be perfect, you know, and, and have no mistakes. But I guess with painting, there's always this leeway you have to give to that. A beautiful day. And it's going to be a beautiful night as well. It's a very nice mezcal place. I'm definitely bringing some of that back. <laughs> I've always been inspired by Aztec and Mayan art, the totemic kind of characters they make and the abstraction in that. So I could spend some time here and make some good work, you know, because it's in the vein of the things I like. When it comes to doing installations, I have to see the wall first and kind of feel out the space. Then I get an idea of what I want to do. I mean, before I came down to Mexico, I had a general blueprint of what the space was gonna look like. As soon as I came down, I knew what I wanted to do, you know? But it's really about being faced with the situation or the challenge and, and seeing how I'm gonna solve that problem. The calligraphy, I began doing it because I was really influenced by the beauty of, you know, the lines and like, every stroke seems like poetry to me, you know, whether I know what it says or not. Sometimes I make characters with uh, my calligraphy. A lot of times it's really just about um, feeling a situation, go, like starting it, seeing how it builds. I don't really sketch or try to emulate or copy anything. It's really a building process. The first few strokes are really dictating for me like what the rest of the piece is going to be. I usually know when I'm done. It's very natural, it's very spontaneous, and you know, at the same time, it's surprising for me too, because when I make works, then I'm totally surprised by what I do, or what, what the end result is. I made this piece during Hurricane Sandy. I wanted to show 
Sandy is like a dragon snake that's spinning around in like a pretzel kind of way. It's really raw energy, but seeing it more as a beast, you know, these kind of disasters really brings people together, you know, which is, which is a nice thing, but, you know, it's, ir it's ironic. <laughs> Turbo Arena is Latin term. Turbo meaning like a hurricane or, a, or I guess like a cyclone storm based off of Hurricane Sandy in a way. Watching all these events that were unfolding on TV, it's like destruction cinema. You, you're watching things happen. You feel a bit helpless, but then at the same time, empowered in a way that it gave me the fuel to like create works like this based on images that were stuck in my head. Art is so much bigger than you, you know? I feel like it really like kind of healed me in a lot of ways. I guess I got to see who I, am, who I really am. Like, you know, it was like my mirror for me. I really got to see these inner thoughts are coming out, these abstract feelings. They may not mean anything to you if you see it, but to me it means so much, it's really personal.